<laughs> I see the honeycomb. <laughs> no, guys, you're killing the bees. <laughs> So there's this black car in our parking garage and it looks like a car that's on a show called Entourage. So we were talking about that and then this happens in our <laughs> elevator. This woman comes in the elevator and we ask her if she knows who the owner of the car is. And the way she goes up to Zane, just watch this. <laughs> right when Zane Wait, asks this is her about the car. She like kind of gets in and so we just talk to her about it. And then he's like, do you know who owns that car? Watch how she comes up to Zane, watch. <laughs> She's like, what'd you say, baby? <laughs> Easy. I like, she I grabbed my so hat. Close. She gets so cl up close to you. I didn't notice it when I was in the elevator, but now that I'm watching it, she got really close, really look, quick. Look at how I grab my hat because I'm like reacting to her getting so close to you. I like kind of freak out. I'm like, oh my God, it is getting hot in here. Watch how I grab my hat. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I love how Matt has this still. This is how actually he keeps track if I'm home or not. <laughs> if he sees that my car is parked, he just comes right on over. All right, long story short. This is Liza's backyard, and these bees have been here for what, what four months since you've moved Five in? Five months now. Five months since they've moved in. Oh, I'm in a bee suit, baby. Here. I love it, bees. Y'all so cute. Go in there and pray. Don't get stung. <laughs> like you said, if one stings you, that sends it. That I know that's true, but so what, that's scary. If one stings you, that's when you leave. Like until one stings you. But like that's not up to you. It's up to them if you leave or not. No, I don't think they go that fast. A giant honey comb inside the fence it's just living in there and it's not even on the, it's not on the other side of the fence it's inside the fence no, i act crazy too when i'm on video so you guys are used to that probably what's up guys <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy gary coming at you i don't know if i can be too brave about to rip the fence open there's like a lot going on behind that fence guys maybe we gonna get some honey tonight all right you, you, so, you guys don't have to start running until you, you guys will basically know <laughs> okay. <laughs> really well. Just, just had lunch the other day. Have you ever been to that new place down the street? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, ta the taco, the yeah, taco place. Dude, oh my god, their tacos like the meat. That like, when, like I don't know. It's just it, it tastes really and the exactly. And the sour cream. I feel like it's like really fresh. It's not from like Ross or anything. But not greasy. I, I like. It. I also I love the Indonesian place that opened up as well. You hear that? <laughs> I see the honeycomb. <laughs> no, guys, you're killing the bees. <laughs> What's that be beautiful? Probably look like butt. <laughs> oh my god, look at this guy. That's a big old booty hive. What? Look at the look at all those beaches. My eyes just got sweat. Hello? He, he hung up on her. My favorite one is when the water goes on her face and it's just a good Hello. pause. Hello? And you could tell it's real. <laughs> it wasn't She's like blacked out drunk. Hello? <laughs> I was talking about this other day, but like I can't breathe out here. Remember what we were talking about like how like my nose? Mm -hmm. Now the humidity is like making me so stuffy that I it's can't like disgusting out here. Uh, my eyebrows have sweat. In yeah, like I know Florida is ten times worse in here right now. We're just so not used to it that this is like the thing is that we're so used to Florida and like I, we just adapt to it, but like every year is getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. So being out here for three years and every time we go back and visit, as soon as you get off that plane into Florida, you're like, <gasps> like you can't sit out, like you can't sit outside and like hang out. Mm -mm. Like we wouldn't be able to do this outside. We couldn't talk like we couldn't get more than sent this out because it's just so clogged up how my life has been since i've had this pink beard i just like completely forgot about it it's like growing on me now i still get stared at everywhere i go i constantly he gets looks these ones they'll just be like this <laughs> like especially when i'm driving like when people just take like take a look at me and then they get that second look you're like <laughs> trying to get a double take real quick what do you think i should do with it i mean i've kind of gotten used to it but it's starting to look trashy now in the beginning it was like nice bright pink but now it's like faded and like your mustache is like orange and like your black beard's growing underneath it yeah even when it was like fully dyed i look like a delinquent you look like, like a I, bad kid you'd have like four mollies on you that you're trying to sell at coachella you, you would totally you, go up to me oh yeah right. you're the drug guy it's like very discouraging it's damn i mean i i just thought it looked weird and different i apparently I thought it, it looks fun is it the color or is it just dyed beard in general because i feel like if it was like purple it would look still be a little funny i think people are just putting me like they're they're comparing me to dom and karina you know? <laughs> i don't know if i want to do a purple blue or just maybe like i got an idea dye back brown shave it off maybe i've seen you with a shave i do i couldn't look at you no but like more. trim it because you have like black underneath it so if you trimmed it to like this long you'd be fine what do you mean trimmed it out to this long because it's growing black underneath the pink so if you trimmed it down to like a shorter length it would just be black under you know what i mean like just cut the pink section off but then I would have pink tips, pink, uh, pink, uh, no. frosted tip on my beard, but it's pink instead of blonde. I don't know, just dye it back to normal color at least. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. I gotta find the same brown color it's gonna look. It's gonna be hard to match it, but it's just gonna look like an ombre. You know how it goes, it's get like ombre with like, brown. like brown to light brown. That would look, look really like that awkward. With, yeah. It would just look weird if it was like a lighter brown. It would look serious. Yeah. It wouldn't look like, oh, pink's a joke, but if it was like light brown, you'd be like, fuck is this guy? Who is this guy? He's a poser. Who is he trying to be a 
<laughs> so the kids watching this, not the adults, but the kids. It's just been really hard going out. You know, remember when we were like 19 years old, 18 years old, when we'd be envious by older people that can like go out and have a good time and we couldn't even do that yet. And like, we're 24 years old now and just, we, I, I just don't like going out anymore. It's uh, just like, it's just, what is I, it? Is I it realized just, it. I realized it in Vegas and I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. In, in Vegas, you know, it was a great time. We had fun, but we, we were at the club one night and it was like a table, whatever. And I remember sitting there and I was at the table with Jason and the strobe lights were like flashing like this and it was yeah. like I closed my eyes and I put my head down I was like Jason I'm about to I'm about to seize up I'm about to have a seizure like, I can't handle this. I'm about to seize up he was like dude I know I'm, I'm like I'm getting way too old for this like I can't handle it. he's like yeah tell me about it I was like I just can't do it and it's I, I think I think well I think that like first off that was a nightclub that was intense even me I think everybody there like it was just like oh this is really this is too much very overwhelming there's people that do that every other day and just spend all night there and then keep drinking till like five in the, like that's yeah. That's intense. We don't do anything like that. Going to Vegas, that was just like something we did once in a blue moon. Even David, David just was just like, damn, this is a lot right now. And he's what? He just turned 21. We played a board game last night. Yeah, we've been staying in doing board game nights. Like, it's, it's fun. You kids will learn to appreciate it as you get a little older. But like, I'm we have just now started. Because like, it's so expensive to go out too. Like, going out drinking and stuff. Like, it's a lot of money for yeah. drinks. It's not even worth it. Going to like a bar, going to a, a place, and just like having to get everybody there. Ubering and then just there. being there. Pay Ubering. Uber, then you're gonna be drunk and, and then you're and gonna be hungry you're gonna get you, the drunchies and you know it's like not gonna be worth it in the end no, and especially the next day it's not gonna be worth it and like last night we played like we just played this like board game where we drew and we had a guest on telestrations and it was Why just like a lot of fun and it was just so nice just sitting there and playing this board game as a family as a family as a fucking family you know as a family the night before i was playing monopoly with andrea and it was just so much fun you're a kid and like you get tired of doing like board games and shit and you want i want to go out party i want to party as you're like you yeah and you get tired of that and you're like i miss playing board games with people exactly like, i miss like staying in and like yeah. watching movies oh my i watched a movie for the first time in god knows how long the other night what movie did you watch inglorious bastard i was home alone just oh. watched, watched it oh dude i do that all the time like even back at home in florida i loved staying in and just watching tv and watching I, movies and I, grabbing I that my, my my diet coke with uh, with mac and a cheese whole pack of Oreos. oh and i'll just keep popping in mac and cheese mac and cheese mac and cheese maybe kill two diet cokes and it's fine because it's diet you know yeah, you're good all right guys thanks for watching make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me and all my friends shout out of the week goes to my meet Maida. thank you so much for the support and